We thought XPED had the market sorted when it came to comfortable camping mats, but they bettered themselves again with the XPED Mega Mat Max. 15 centimeters of comfort. Let's check it out. Get it. Hey guys, Ben from Snowy's here today with the most comfortable camping mat I've ever seen. It's the XPED Mega Mat Max 15 series. Now, what sets these guys apart from the rest of the mats in the XPED range is that they maintain this comfortable top on here. They have their, what they call their Sidewinder stuff sack, comes included with a mini pump and a repair kit. But most importantly, the thickness of the mat is 15 centimeters of comfort here, which means you can adjust how firm the mat is here and you're not gonna bottom out, making it the most comfortable camping mat you can buy. Now there's two mats in the range. This that I've got in front of me here is the XPED Mega Mat Max Duo 15. So a double mat, it's 132 centimeters in width and 197 centimeters in length. And there's also the XPED Mega Mat Max Long and Extra Wide, which I don't have here with me today, but it's a, it's a king single mat that's 197 centimeters in length and 77 centimeters in width. Now this is the duo packed up here, about 70 centimeters long and around about 30 centimeters in diameter, but that is obviously very dependent on how well you pack it up. The LXW or the single version is slightly longer and a little bit less in diameter, once again, depending on how well you pack it up. Now, when you buy your mat, obviously you get the mat, but this guy, as I mentioned, comes with a few extras. So you get this Sidewinder bag that they, they call it here. Now, this is a really oversized bag. So if you just botch up packing up your, your mat and you don't compress it down very far, you can still get it in this bag. Squeeze it in there. It's got a roll top closure here that you can roll down and seal it up and the bag is good to go. There is a strap on the end here, so you don't even have to worry about trying to, it's all tangled up, you don't have to worry about trying to make it small enough because there's an extra strap there to do that up so you can easily get it back in the bag. As I mentioned, you do also inside here, get a few extras, little pocket at the end, you get the mini pump inflation aid. Um, you don't get that with all the XPED mats, but you do with this guy here. You also get a repair kit and you get a little strap to sort of secure it when it's all rolled up. Now the single mat or the long and extra wide mat weighs about three and a half kilos and the double mat here a little over six kilos, around 6.1 kilos. Now the, onto the fabrics that the mat's made of, the top is a 50 denier trico nylon. It's got kind of a stretch feel to it. So if you let this mat get soft when you're lying on it, you kind of sink down into the fabric and the fabric stretches with you to make it really comfortable. The sides of the base of the mat are a 75 denier polyester, so it's a nice durable fabric. Uh, and inside is a, um, a, a open cell PU foam. Now on the underside of this fabric is a, a TPU laminate that's hydrolysis resistant, so it keeps it airtight obviously, but it also resists a bit of moisture. So if you do happen to use your breath or get a bit of moisture inside, that laminate's not gonna break down, but you still do wanna make sure you store the mat dry with the valves open and if you can avoid using your mouth or any method of inflation that gets moisture inside the mat, that's the best case scenario. One of the better things or one, one of the cool things um, about what Expert have used in this mat though is that all the materials are Ecotex certified, which means they're free from harmful substances. So you're not uh, getting anything on your skin that you don't want on your skin while you're sleeping on this mat. Uh, before I have a lie down, I just want to cover off the valves on the end here. As with uh, just about all XBED mats, they've got both a deflate and an inflate valve. Now, if I undo this inflate valve, the air is going to stay in the mat because there's a little one-way valve in there. Now, we can use this to adjust the firmness of the mat. If I use a little, little um, green sort of tab that's attached to the valve here, if I poke inside here while I'm lying on the mat, it'll let a bit of air out and make it comfortable to my preference. So when you first set up the mat, put lots of air in, make it really tight and then lie down on it and just press this, let a bit of air out, just down until you're comfortable. And because it's so thick, you can kind of sag down into the mat uh, and it becomes a really comfortable mat to sleep on. On the other side is a larger deflate valve. Now I'm just gonna hop off the mat while I undo this because as soon as I do this, the air is gonna rush out. And when I open it, you'll also see that there's a, a little one-way valve in here as well. That lets air out, but not back in. The benefit of that is that when we're rolling the mat up, we can roll it up once, squeeze the air out, unroll it, and because of that one-way valve, it's not gonna suck the air back in. It's gonna allow us to unroll it and roll it again to squeeze even more air out of the mat. I have a bit of a lie down to show you how comfortable it is now. I've let a bit of air out of this now. If I sit directly in the middle of this mat, I'm 
I think I'm just touching the bottom, but because of all the foam, it actually, I can't feel myself hitting the ground hard. But if I lie down, spread my weight evenly across the mat, it actually feels quite firm at the moment. I'll adjust this and show you sort of how far down you can go. I'm gonna feel myself sinking right down into the mat now. And that feels pretty comfortable. My hips and shoulders are now sinking into the mat. I'm still not touching the bottom. I can let that quite a lot of air out actually. And this is just with one person on the mat. And I'm still not. If I put my elbow down like this, I can just feel it touching the base there now. And there's quite a bit of air come out of the mat here. So if you have a second person sleeping on a double mat like this, obviously that makes it tidy. You can let more air out again. But because of this extra thickness, you can really customize how comfortable the mat is. Whereas the thinner mats in the range, if you let a bit of air out to make it softer, as soon as you, you sort of sit up or put your elbow down like this, you're hitting the ground and it becomes uncomfortable. If I sit up, to try and sort of give you an idea of how how supportive the mat is if i sit up and just kind of put all my weight just down on my, my, my bum here in one spot i'm sinking down and i'm touching the bottom but i'm still padded i can't feel the ground hard underneath me i can still feel a layer of foam between me and the ground so even if i do touch the bottom in this mat there's enough foam in there to still give me a layer of insulation and a layer of padding before i hit the cold or all warm ground underneath there's one other thing I wanna show you and that's how this little mini pump here works. Now this is a, a bit of fabric that, um, what's well, this, two bits of fabric um, that is filled with foam inside here and there's a hole in the top here. What's this, this is designed such that this end attaches to our inflate valve here. So if we just push this into here, click it in place like that, we can then lay this flat on the ground and the idea is we can use our hand or our foot and if we seal this hole up here, it traps air in here and pushes air inside. Now this mat will inflate probably to about 90%, 80 to 90% by itself, but you do need to use one of these or something just to make it nice and firm if that's how you prefer to sleep. So probably about a minute or so of pumping like this will make the mat really firm. You can then lie on it and adjust it like I showed you before so that it suits your level of comfort while you're sleeping. Take it off, the one way valve doesn't let the air out, you can seal it up with this and you're good to go. Now we'll just reiterate that while the mat is self-inflating, it's not, as I mentioned before, it's not entirely self-inflating. It will inflate most of the way, you do need to give it a little bit of help with this guy and when the mat is new in particular, because it comes in a state of being rolled up really tight from the factory, it's gonna take even longer to, for the mat to be able to self-inflate. And there's actually directions XPED include in with their kit on what to do to make sure you get the most out of it. You probably need to leave it for about 24 hours inflated to give that, that foam a memory of being expanded in order for it to, um, to expand quickly at the campsite. And when you store it, if you can at home, store it like this with the valves open so the foam stays in an expanded state. It's gonna make it quick and easy to set up next time you go camping. That is the XPED Megamat Max 15 series. And I'm sitting on the duo version right here. You can grab both sizes from snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest information or check out some other mats like this one down here.